at uh, this story of the wedding of, of at Cana. Just bless their day. Oh, I need to pass stuff. You're out. welcome. Um, yeah. What right here. What did you do? Zoomed in on my face. Morning, Angela. Yeah. Um, it's Morning, Toby watches it too. We should say hi to hi, Toby. Toby. Hi, hi, Toby. Toby. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing on this fine morning? Oh, sorry. How are you doing So let's, uh, let's talk about John 2 1 through 11, the wedding at Cana. Uh, but I'm going to back up just a little bit uh, and talk to you overall. Thank you very much. Did you say hi to Angela? No. Does Angela know who you are? I'm going to have today. Hello, Angela and Toby. That's Carissa. Do you zoom in? How did you zoom in? They don't need to zoom in on my face. Uh, that's Carissa. She's a senior, so she's graduating this year, if I let her. Uh, and uh, she's my teacher sister. Okay, so as I said, I want to back up and kind of talk about this overall idea of the division in John, in the, in the Gospel of John. Um, it is divided into, by scholars, into two sections, two categories. Um, the first section is called the Book of Signs, and it encompasses chapters 1 through 12, which is essentially the ministry of Jesus. It is the events and the public signs that convey Jesus' identity, who he is, that he is Messiah. Remember John's thesis statement in John 20, 31. These were written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you might have life in his name. Every story, every story, every sign in John is asking this question. Who is this guy? And John is answering it with, he is Jesus. He is Messiah. So in the book of signs, Jesus reveals his glory. And then beginning at John 13, which is the night in which Jesus was betrayed, it begins with the Last Supper. So we're talking about less than the last 24 hours of his life. So John 1 through 12 is the whole ministry of Jesus. And John 13 through 21 is less than the last day of Jesus' life. It is called, that those chapters are called the Book of Glory. Because it focused, those chapters focus on the glorification of Jesus via the cross and the empty tomb. So I told you in the book of signs, Jesus reveals his glory. In the book of glory, Jesus receives glory from God. I need to go grab my tea. I'm still battling whatever it is I have. <coughs> And I know that because I'm drinking the tea. I love coffee. I drink coffee in the morning, except when I'm sick. And until I'm fully recovered, I don't want anything but tea. I know it's a weird way to know that you're sick, but... You like tea? I do like tea. I just like coffee better than it is. When I'm not sick. Um, so, um, this is based on this idea of the book of signs and the book of glory, and that in the book of signs, Jesus reveals his glory, and in the book of glory, Jesus receives glory from God. All of this is based on uh, John 1 and 5, which is a microcosm, it's a mini picture of John's gospel. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not over. Comment. So the book of signs describes how the light, Jesus, shines in the darkness of this world. And the book, that's what I said, book of glory, book of signs. Book of signs describes how the light shines in the darkness. The book of glory tells us how the darkness attempts but fails to overcome 
the light overcome Jesus. So the light shines, Jesus shines in the darkness, and the darkness is not overcome. It cannot overcome the light of Jesus. So that may, means, this whole book of signs thing, that means that this calling of this sign at Cana, the first sign, important. John calls the miracle at Cana the first sign of Jesus. And, and, and this is believed to be, uh, this portion of John's gospel uh, is believed to recount the very beginning of Jesus' public ministry. In other words, the wedding at Cana takes place chronologically before any of the ministry recorded in the Synoptic Gospels. Uh, at least that's what most scholars believe. So this is the first uh, part of ministry uh, before anything recorded in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Yes, ma'am? What are the like, chapters of the book? Signs and books. Yeah. Is that the... I'm sorry, can you read to me what you have there? What you're missing? So after the first sign, there's like the space. Do you put something there before that there's the uh, beginning? First sign. Um, I, I just said because John calls the miracle at Cana the first sign of Jesus, uh, it, it is believed to be that this portion of John's gospel recounts the very beginning of Jesus' public ministry. Does that help you? Okay. Um, and in, in other words, the story of the wedding takes place chronologically before any of the ministry recorded in the synoptic. So let's take a look at this story once again. They have a problem, a big problem. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me, Jesus replied. My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Uh, this is a big deal. Uh, this is uh, this is in this culture would have been um, a very serious issue, a very serious mistake. In fact, it could have even led to a lawsuit. I'm really grateful that that's not part of our culture because we might have been sued for running out of stuff at my wedding, uh, food. Um, we didn't run out of that food, but we ran out of water. Um, at very least, even if they weren't sued. Uh, it would have brought shame on the couple and their families. I mentioned to you that Eastern, Near Eastern and Eastern cultures tend to be shame cultures. They tend to say that the worst thing you can possibly do is to bring shame to yourself. And when you bring shame to yourself, when you do something shameful, you bring shame to your whole family. Uh, you dishonor them when you shame them. Which reminded me of a movie clip, which is an Eastern culture. And, um, and you will see in this clip the concept of, of shame. Let's see if I can get this to work. Get my mouse to walk over. Where are you, mouse? There you are. <laughs> Just click the middle of the screen. Well, I don't even know where my mouse is. Go up. Go up. Yeah. Click. Yeah. Click. Or. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> this honor, this honor on your whole family. Take a note of this. This honor on you, this honor on your child, this honor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just nervous. I go to the Then you're going to have to trust me. And don't you slap me no more. You clear on that? All right. Oh, get up, okay, let's get this show on the road. Tricky, get the bag. Let's move it, Apple. So dishonor on you, dishonor on your whole family. Dishonor on your uh, cat. Dishonor on your cat. Dishonor on your cat. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and notice how seriously Mulan takes that, and that would be very true to life. The worst thing that could possibly happen would be for her to bring dishonor on her 